I'm going to talk about uh, awake sleep states and the electrical activity of mammalian brains. Let me ask a question. Why do mammals sleep? Why do humans sleep? And why are they awake? To answer, to answer this question, uh, uh, there are structures in our brain that control consciousness, state of awakefulness, and sleeping. Before we talk about sleeping or awake state, let me look at, let, let, let me show you where these structures are in the brain. Um, supposing this is the brain and this is the cerebral cortex. Cerebral cortex. We are we are viewing at the one side at the lateral view of our brain. And if this is the cerebral cortex, then there is another structure here deep inside our brain. This structure is called thalamus. And as we move down from the brain up to our neck, up to the neck, there is another structure the brain, the brain is stem. Supposing this is the brain stem, then we have this structure called pons here. And between the pon and the medulla oblongata, there is another structure, a, a, a group of cells called reticular formation, reticular formation. And when you see the cerebral cortex of human being, there are six layers of cells. It is divided into six layers of cells. When you just take a cross section somewhere there from the cerebral cortex and see the, the types of cells that, that are contained there, you will see something like this. The cell, something like this, branching like a tree. This is the cell called pyramidal cells, neurons, they are neurons. Pyramidal cell. The, the, there are a lot of cells like this in, in the cerebral cortex. And the six layers are connected with this uh, organ called thalamus. And the word thalamus means chamber. They are connected by to this thalamus, and the thalamus is also connected with the brain stem. And this is this connection, or I would say electrical wiring of the brain, or connector. So there are wires or fibers coming up from the spinal cord, brain stem, and the relay here, the inner synapting with the thalamus. From the thalamus, 
The wise radiate, radiate to the cerebral cortex all over the brain. And from the cerebral cortex, there are wires coming down as well to the thalamus. Um, the interaction between these three structures is what makes us sleep and awake. There is a lot of a uh, series of chemical reaction that occur when your, our brain are stimulated by, by, by light or by talking or anything in, the, in our environment. So our, uh, the, the mammals have a condition, a phenomenon called uh, circadian rhythm. So when, the dark, when darkness comes, our brain produces neurotransmitters which are inhibitory. And these neurotransmitters will decrease the electrical activity of the brain. And the and the, there has been the electrical activity of the brain has been recorded by a device called electroencephalogram EEG electroencephalogram EEG E E E G. When you see the recording of the ECG, they usually do they, they usually put the record from the skull, they insert one electrode in the skull and the other somewhere in your body and the machine will record. When you see the EEG of a sleeping or awake awake person its EEG would look like this, something like this. This recording is called alpha rhythm. The, the, there are short waves and the voltage and short voltages. When you see the EEG of a sleeping person, you will have Tall, um, high voltage recording, but longer waves. The EEG, EEG of a sleeping person would look like that. So, to summarize it, to summarize the issue. During darkness, our mind perceives that now it is time to take to rest. And the brain automatically produces neurotransmitters or chemicals. chemicals and these chemicals will travel through that connector, neural wiring that I have been just talking and they will inhibit the brain activity and which will and the brain and the, the sleep zone inside the thalamus will be and you will sleep. It is the same way during morning the, the, the these uh, um, chemicals will also be produced and now they are excitatory and you will get up from sleeping. If you don't sleep well, what will happen if you are deprived of sleeping? It's you will get exhausted and in the end you will die.